It has been 32 years, four months and 11 days since I delivered my first report for Channel 23 and a lot has changed over that time. In fact, when I started, we were the CBS affiliate in Bakersfield. Burley Smith was still anchoring the news. The Bakersfield Dodgers played at Samlin Ballpark and the population was somewhere in the vicinity of 180,000. We're now over 400,000. Well, for those of you who have been along for the ride, you know that KERO TV has undergone many changes over the last three decades and we're doing it again. I'm stepping away for the anchor desk after 17 years on the morning shift. Now I'm not leaving 23 ABC. I'm taking on more of a managerial role, overseeing the next generation of reporters who will be delivering the news from all corners of Kern County. People have asked me for many years if I will miss this. Well, sure. I grew up in front of the camera. I've been on the air for nearly 40 years in all in Yuma, Arizona, Duluth, Minnesota, before I arrived here. Starting out in sports gave me the chance to learn every facet of broadcast storytelling, shooting my own video, writing, producing, editing, and anchoring, much like our reporters today. It helped me make the transition in news, working every shift before settling into the morning show. You've been a part of my family, watching it grow with my wife, Lori, my sons, Michael and Cody. This job also gave me the chance to expand into other areas. This is video of the 30th celebration. Here we are, 32. I have uh, worked with dozens of local charities and nonprofits over the years, some great organizations helping to raise millions of dollars for local families and of course the veterans and all the veterans' voices. Now I'm going to continue to do all this. In addition, I've been public address announcing for the Condors over 20 years and has worked as a ring announcer for more than 25 years. The people I've met and worked with have helped me grow and mature during this time, but now it's time for me to return the favor. 23ABC is shifting to a new way of delivering the headlines, utilizing a neighborhood news format with a team of 12 reporters. We're going to cover Kern County like no other broadcast team. We'll embed our multimedia journalists in every corner of the county to bring you these stories on a more consistent basis while establishing deeper connections with residents and officials. It's the next evolution in local news, both on air and online, so you can get the information you need when you need it wherever you are and however you get your news. I'll be working with a talented group of individuals to streamline and perfect this technique. Now, while we do expect a few bumps along the way, as normal, Scripps Broadcasting is dedicated to refining our news operation to bring you more coverage of Kern County than ever before. And don't be surprised if I show up on air from time to time. But even if you don't see me every day, I'll be here continuing to work for you and Kern County for many more years to come. And of course, Where'd through all those from? years, I know, good morning, I'm back. <laughs> I had to come back though, because to send you off the desk, we really want to show you just how much you have meant to our station, and not only to the station and the community, but to each and every person who has worked with you over the years. Oh, wow. Go ahead and roll it. Mike Hart is a legacy here at 23ABC. His face literally lines the halls of our news station. Around here, he's everyone's go-to guy, and it's been that way for the last 30 years. It's a scrimmage. It's the first game of the year. This week is boxing. Boxing this Wednesday night from the Strongbow Stadium. And who can forget legendary rockers, Twisted Sister, and their classic hit, We're Not Gonna Take It. Yeah, that's right. You like this? You like this? Yeah, this is uh, Ryder Kisner right here. I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following. Hey, Mike. It's Todd and Jackie. Hey, Mike. It's Casey. Hi, Mike. Callan here. Hi, Mike. It's Leslie. Yeah. He, he's a real TV guy, so we're like trying to give him the... Somebody said, well, how long are you going to do this? How long will you stay on the air? I said, as long as they'll have me. I don't even know where to begin. You were the best coworker I've ever had in my life. You and I go back to the sports days back in the 90s, which was a whole lot of fun. We throw the word legend around quite a bit, but I truly mean that when I say you, you are a legend. Mike, you have been a constant in Bakersfield for all of these years. Everyone has been relying on you, waking up with you. My favorite Mike Hart memory, though, has to be watching you take mini naps during VOSOP breaks. It is 6:12 right now. We have some crazy hours waking up at 2 a.m. And I don't know how you've done it for so many years. You have obviously made such an impact on so many people. You have been on there for decades. That's why I chose to stand over this motorcycle because it too has got quite a few decades on it. Bakersfield was just so lucky to wake up to you every morning. Well done. 
We have more of that coming up. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> you've always been my mentor, but most of all, you've been my friend. You mean a lot to us. Yeah. Um, you've been everything to us, a shoulder yeah. to cry on. You've given us <laughs> advice, career advice, personal advice, and my God, have you made us laugh. Take three in three, two, one. I'm Mike Hart. As we continue our search, Center 13. The Warner Brothers, Yako, <laughs> I can't even say this, Yako and Yako and Wacko. Congratulations on such a wonderful on-air career in Bakersfield. You helped so many of us young journalists. I would not be the journalist I am today if I didn't have the honor, the honor of starting my career, learning alongside of you. I can never thank you enough for all of the kindness and support that you showed me while I was out there in Bakersfield. You really helped it feel like home. Every single day when I walked into work, you were the same person genuine same guy on air as off air you know this is this is our home right about at the end of my first contract I met Lori and then we got engaged and we got married and she became pregnant with Michael Uh, they're coming off the buses as we prepare to head down to the Vietnam Wall. For the entire veteran community, Kern County, Baker's. You have been our voice, Mike. In another year of coverage for our military men and women as we continue our weekly series of Veterans Voice. Thank you for so many amazing stories and so much love of the house since before it opened. Both you and Lori. Let's make some noise in here! You know something about everything, and it's just, it's impressive. Good morning, I'm Mike Hart, and mostly clear skies to greet you today. I got a reporting job at KERO, my first reporting job, and I was terrified. I had no clue what I was doing, but that was okay, because you were always there to guide me. Hey. Water, water, water! Water! Thank you so much for all of your generosity, your wisdom. Thank you for always having a good attitude. May I introduce to you Mel Weaver, makeup artist to the stars. Congratulations for the career you've had so far. Mike, thank you for just being you. We love and respect you so much. We love you. I miss you. And thanks for everything. Just gotta get right out of here. Well, there you have it, Mike. You truly... Oh, I thought I deleted a lot of that. <laughs> Mike... If I could include everybody who, everything that they said and everybody who you've touched over the years through this career, I mean, that video would have gone on all day because you truly have just, and speaking for myself as well, you truly have just helped all of us grow so much in this industry. You're always there for us, supporting us, and you truly mean so much to so many of us. Well, and the nice part is, is that I am going to be staying here and we're going yes. to continue our relationship together yeah. and our relationship together yeah. and everybody yeah. that's here. But as uh, what you're saying, as far as everyone, I mean, that's reciprocal. It's all the people that I've met over the years that continue to this day coming up saying, do you remember me? It was back in 1993. And I'm like, hang on, <laughs> yeah, help me out. Yeah. But, I'm going to uh, interject if I can. I mean, I've yeah. only worked with you for about a year, but it feels like 20 and I am, so grateful for you, buddy. So grateful. I've learned so much in such a small window yes. of time. You have no ego. You are one of the most humble people I've ever met, and I'm grateful Thank for you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Take us away. All right. That's going to do it for us on this Monday, and for me. Have a great one. <laughs>